just heard there, uh, more officers are being drafted in to support the Met in London ahead of those uh, pro-Palestinian marches, which coincide with Armistice Day tomorrow. Um, Remembrance Sunday is, uh, of course, this weekend too. Well, let's talk to uh, Lindsay German, who's the national convener of the Stop the War Coalition, which has organised uh, a march tomorrow. Uh, a very good morning to you. Thanks so much uh, for talking to us. There's been a huge amount of focus on these protests tomorrow. Explain to us why you think it's important for your march to go ahead. Well, we felt that with what's happening in Gaza and what continues to happen in Gaza, that the number of deaths, the people, the civilians now fleeing to the south and uh, all the other things that are going on, that we have to keep demonstrating. We've done that for the last month, every week, and we felt we had to do it to, uh, on Saturday. So that's what we're doing it for. We've got people coming from all around the country and we think it will be the biggest protest uh, in support of the Palestinians probably ever. But the issue is the fact that it's Armistice Day, isn't it? And it's Remembrance um, Weekend, where uh, a day, day tomorrow and Sunday of, of real solemnity and reflection, commemorating those who lost their lives, uh, fighting for their country. Um, some say that's not the best day to be carrying out a large protest. So what's your response to that? Well, I think um, Armistice Day itself, there's a two minute silence, which people respect but that actually everything else goes on as normal. There's eight football matches, there's the Lord Mayor's show. So we don't think it's inappropriate to have it on that day. And we're calling for a ceasefire, which is actually what an armistice is. So in a way, it's quite an appropriate day to be remembering the dead of the past, but also to say we don't want the wars of the present to continue. The Prime Minister ha has said that a march would be provocative and disrespectful. Uh, he says that it's a, an issue of concern and there are some that worry that not everyone attending will be peaceful and respectful. There have been a previous protests on previous Saturdays because you've held them for a number of weeks now that have seen some Hamas flags being waved, there have been images of paragliders uh, pinned to clothing and there have been offensive chants uh, as well. How concerned are you about that? I'm Especially not concerned. On the I'm not concerned about it because I think people, we deliberately said we don't want to go anywhere near the Cenotaph. We don't want to in any way look, it, look like we don't respect what people are doing there this weekend. We aren't demonstrating on Sunday, which is when the big services and parades and everything else are. So we think it, that the demonstration itself, as in previous weeks, hundreds of thousands of people will be on it. All of them are committed to the cause of Gaza. Now, in the cases you're giving, you're talking about one or two people who may be around the march. Some of them weren't even on our march, some of the things that people complain about. These really are not representative of what the marchers are doing and what we're standing for. But and are you I not worried that it attracts those people? I, do, I think what it will attract is the people from all walks of life. We know this from all the previous ones, all ages, all religions and races. And I think it will be a peaceful, very, very successful march trying to make our point to the government. And after all, this is about a government which is refusing to call for a ceasefire, which should be the very minimum of what's going on in Gaza, and which has a Home Secretary who has been deliberately, in my view, fueling up hate and problems over this march. Why do you think that she would do that? Well, I think she's got her own political agenda, which, and she's, the article that she wrote in The Times is actually one which gives a signal to people, like far-right demonstrators, to come to the Cenotaph, quite erroneously. She's known for weeks we weren't going anywhere near the Cenotaph, so you only have to, you, you can only conclude that she's doing this to stir up problems for her own purposes. She says that she has a, a, a clear message. Not only is she concerned about the marches and, and the question of trouble around them, but she also has raised questions about how they've been policed. She says that um, right-wing protesters, uh, when they're aggressive, can be met with a stone, stern response, but pro-Palestinian mobs, as she calls them, um, are largely ignored. What do you make of that? Well, I think, firstly, the language tells you a great deal. So if it's a right-wing demonstration from her point of view, that's OK. We're a mob. Now, well, she doesn't say it's OK. She said that, that aggressive right-wing protesters are rightly met with a stern response. But they're not called mobs. You know, we're, that's reserved for us. But, no, I think the, the question is, I think for many, many people on the left, they would say they don't get favouritism from the police. And over the years, if you think of, for example, 
uh, when the National Front marched in the 70s and early 80s, actually the police protected them from the uh, demonstrators. So I don't think she's right about this. And I think people don't feel we're getting favourable policing. Obviously, this is a question that you no doubt will be asking to the police themselves, but certainly we don't think we're getting better treatment than anybody else who demonstrates. And the, but the real point, surely, is that the Home Secretary shouldn't be making these kind of comments. You say that it's stoking divisions, and yet there will be some in the Jewish community who feel very uncomfortable about the marches tomorrow. Do you have some sympathy for them at a time when there are high tensions in a lot of communities? I'm, I'm very, very sorry if anybody feels that these marches are threatening, but you should remember that there are many, many Jewish people who come on these demonstrations, and indeed there's going to be a Jewish bloc tomorrow on the demonstration when all sorts of different Jewish organisations will be getting together and marching in support of the Palestinians. Okay, well, Lindsay Graham from uh, Stop the War Coalition, thanks very much indeed for your time this morning. Thanks Thank, for you. Thank you.